Can't hang with a fuck nigga either. You gotta be a hundred just to be in my circles. And never be honest, I don't really like people. You can tell I don't trust no bitch, don't trust no hoe. They'll show, don't trust no skis. And I'm just like you the cold and still that a spit that fire. Leave a lame nigga dead in the freezer. A broke bitch, don't be on whole shit. She gon' jump from one dick on the yo dick. Get it messy as shit. Try a man like a bitch. Swing like a man, she gon' get a ass kicked. Cause I ain't got a problem fucking up a bitch. Don't touch me, then you won't get hit. When they come in, nigga, get the glitch. Yeah, man. Hey, right, man. look, man. That's, that's what you got. This, this totally different, as y'all can tell, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we're coming to you live from Latonia, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I like that, man. I that's like right that, him, bro. Yeah, but of course, it, it's nothing new to me. You know what I'm saying? If y'all notice, man, you know, me and my co host, we got a special guest here. He already sitting with us because he's special yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Welcome, my little brother, Tony Diddy, man. I know they heard me talking yeah. about you. You know what I'm saying? I spoke of you highly, you know what I'm saying? Salute. So, welcome to the AM Podcast. What's up, brother? I miss it, yeah, brother. Yeah, so, most so. doubt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He said it right, Mississippi. So, you know, mm -hmm. we in Latonia, Georgia. So, tell them where you're from, man. You know what I'm saying? I just told them who you are, Tony Diddy. You know what I'm saying? We had Tony Diddy production. <sighs> That's a question I hate to answer, but I answered it back. First and foremost, I'm from Germany. I'm fucking foreign. I oh, am okay. a real foreigner. But I was raised the first part of my life in Columbus, Mississippi, that's Lawrence County. Mississippi, right. once again. But oh, every God. time you, the nigga be talking about he got a foreign bride, he whipping a foreign car, I actually do that. Every girl I fuck with is foreign because I'm German, nigga. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hope, okay. I pull up in that Chevy. You got this swag on him, man. Yeah, when I pull up in that Chevy, that's a fucking foreign to me, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Country boy, yeah. I'm a country foreigner. A boy. country foreigner. Okay, yeah. I love it. I yeah, love I it. it yeah. Well, man, welcome to the AM podcast. Should, should, can we even say welcome to the AM podcast? Yeah, so we yeah, actually, yeah. We, but we in here, yeah. you know, we told y'all we were going to be on the road. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen the uh, interview with Juan Rogelio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout, shout out to him again. You, you know what I'm saying? And now we here in Latonia again, you know what I'm saying, the AM podcast with my brother Tony Diddy, you know what I'm saying? I got a question, so what does AM stand for? You would be the one to ask that. Then. We ain't ready to tell the world that now, so we're going to plead the fifth on <laughs> it. We'll let, you know that. we'll let you know Is that. Is that your catchphrase? Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, to let the audience and everybody figure yeah, we, it out, man. Yeah, we, 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 but we, that's we, the answer. They got to figure it out, but that's the answer. It's your, it's your, uh, your catchphrase. Your what do the AM podcast stand for? The AM part, yeah. I mean, like right now, it's AM. Right now, we're going to say it stand for morning time. It's okay. in the morning hours. Yeah, it's about right. what? 3 a.m. <laughs> Georgia time, you know what I'm saying? So that's what they. But now we're going to. We'll let you know behind the camera. We don't want, you know what I mean? It's not Rick Sigler, but we, we ain't really let it go just yet, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, this is about you though, man. What Tony, Tony did it. What what have you done? I know you've done a lot. You know what I'm saying. But we gotta let the people know, man. You know what I'm saying. What have you done, man? What do you do? Who are you? You know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm a man of many hats. Most different. Um, I know that. Artist, producer, writer, engineer, uh, label owner, production owner. Um, you name it, pretty much. When it comes to music, I can do it. Hard working man, hard working man. And I know y'all. What 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 uh what episode was it when we mentioned? I mentioned him in uh being the best. You know what I'm saying? Engineer this way. You know what I'm saying? Just in case y'all didn't know, no. it was on one. It might have been on three. One of the episodes I know y'all. I, I mentioned my brother Tony did and let y'all know he the best engineer in the A. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say that you know so around this area. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you around this area, man, what can they what can they get at you at? Because some people don't. When you tell them that people have quality, they just heard the song. I, I, yeah. That was the thing. But where can they find you at if they need something mixed so or they need an engineer or they need a track or, you know, let the people know where they can where they can find you. How can they contact you? Uh, you can Google Bottom Line TDP. Um, bottom Line TDP. Production. That'll bring up my studio. First and foremost, artistry-wise, Bravo Sinatra. That's any platform. Bravo Sinatra. Any social media. B R A V O S I N A T R A at whatever. Um, okay, that's Instagram. There was a question you asked me a few seconds ago. Um, and I just told you I was an artist, producer, writer, engineer. But yeah, I am I'm responsible good. for like 700 different songs that are streaming today, um, including 
Yes, Include sir. Mike. You better know it. Juan yeah. Rogelio, um, Mike, Mike, uh, myself, bottom line, TDP, um, M365, certified, uh, KC Hooks. You got all this days for days. Uh, Black J, um, Chase Let. I can go in the folder and you'll see it yourself. Y'all, y'all heard that that man got over how yeah. I, I many? Seven hundred or more. Over seven hundred or more songs they're streaming right now on all platforms that he had played a part in. And I am happy to say that I am one of those artists that was blessed to have you, you know what I mean? Like I say blessed cause you know, we go we go way back, you know what I mean? Like it's beyond music with us ever since Juan Rogelio introduced us, you know what I mean? It's been number love, man. I sit back, I I watch, I stayed with you. Yeah, at one time, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Your home was my home, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, like, a lot of people don't know this. I'm going to have to say it, man. You know, when I had nowhere to go, man, this man here opened up his doors for me, man. You know what I mean? So what what y'all seeing is, is what he do for work, but what I'm seeing, like, this is my brother, you know what I mean? Like, he opened up the door and I had nowhere to go. I sit and watched him. I, I was blessed to watch you every night do what you do. And even throw me in there sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And, and work me. And I love you for that, man. You know, you know, I love you for, for being my brother. I love you for what you do, man, because you're dedicated and you love what you do. Like, you know you what know. you say? The song, uh, what you say to a nigga and done it out. Done it oh, out. done it out, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. How did that happen? Well, how did it happen? So y'all know, because they've been banging that what you say. Well, y'all hear that what you say track, you know what I'm saying? I This man, so like I said, he's telling he used to work me too. So I come in home from work late night, you know what I mean? I walk in, he tell me, go in the booth and do something. I'm thinking I'm doing something for him or something. And then when he put it together, it's it's magical. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to see it to know when he put it together, though, man, it's just you. Like this motherfucker. You know what I mean? He, he worked me, bro. Like, this this man is genius. I walked in the booth and, and I rap. I know you remember this. You told me your favorite uh, mixtape song that I had. He stayed on me by Jacket for Beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's one of his favorites that he said he liked me on. Had me walk in the booth, told me just start rapping it. I'm rapping it a cappella, you know what I mean? Next thing I know, I come out the booth, he done made a whole track to it just like that. That's how it came along, you know what I mean? So that, 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 that's genius, man. Once again, shout out, man. Salute to you, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. It's bigger than music with me and bro, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but we, we ain't going to get into that. We, we don't get into motion. We're going we gonna to keep it on the funny music story. side. Funny story. Oh, here you go. You got a story, bro. <laughs> what it do? Earlier, we was talking about this nigga, right? About uh, Kalmo broke a table. I'm 230 pounds, I'm 6'2". So me and Sugar were just oh. sitting there joking and shit. Like, this nigga ain't nothing but 130 soaking wet. You feel me? And so, bro, we were talking, bro. <laughs> At least you added 30 to me. I said a dollar, yeah. I just shit. He used to stay with me. So he used to eat good. No real, real shit. He used to eat no cap. He ain't good. Now the question is, where does the shit go? You know what I'm <laughs> that what we were talking about earlier. Like, hold on, man. This nigga come when he get home, man. He have a four course meal. You hear me? Not three, four. You know what I'm saying? It be so much food on the plate. The nigga be like, you know what? I'm gonna spit this in half. I'm gonna take this to work. Man, yeah, I, I ain't good, boy. Hey, you remember we had good. these steaks, bro? Shout out to the cook. I remember everything, oh, man. Oh, fuck up. Well, yeah, there. Oh man, <laughs> you remember the steaks, though, bro? Right? Uh oh. I remember everything. Yeah, I remember everything. I remember everything, man. Look, what? Hey, I just I told y'all on the last episode, everybody. Why? Why everybody always wanna, you know? You try to turn this into That's a memory. Your, your brother Juan Rogelio tried to turn it into I mean, that was just a memory. Man, we got several. You shared, we got several like, memories, like, bro. I just real. had to crack my jokes real fast. They see, yeah, they, they, they know I'm a little guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a little guy, man. Yeah, yeah. that's that, 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 that. Big and hard, you know what I'm saying? Big and hard. Like, but yeah, man, they don't, I mean, you know, like, like I said, man, they don't understand it. it's more than music with me. And you. I don't even know where it is. And, and you, my life so much, they didn't kidnap but yeah, man, bigger than music, but I, I mean, I know that you got something going, man. I don't know if they can see what you got going over here, but boy, it's a lovely set. How long you been doing this, period? That's the first thing. How long you been doing this? Uh, That's a long what? time. Well, I'm, well, we started in 2002, but you was already on it. Well, I'm going to say it like this. And you got uh, that and boo. Yeah. I started rapping by seventh grade. Um, 
around about 16 or 17, I started making my own beats and stuff like that. And um, we talking like 2002 when I started making my own beats. Okay. Uh, you're a blessed individual. Me and my brother Juan, I went through some shit. I went through some shit, was homeless, um, got put out. And uh, when I came back, I lost a lot of time in school. So I ended up getting my GED, but right after I finished, before I got, before I finished my GED, me and Juan had started looking for schools. Okay. And me and him started finding these artistic schools, you know what I mean? So we can learn how to engineer and produce and, and do those different things. So I'm gonna say like 2007 was when I got serious. Okay. That's when I started doing internships in and out of these studios and getting my own equipment and going you, for You that. worked for other studios too before you got your own going, right? Am I, am I, I mean, I interned in three different studios. Um, then Here in Georgia? Yeah. Okay. okay. And after that, I got my first couple opportunities and then I started being work for higher engineers. Okay. So I get the call when like the main engineer wasn't around and stuff like that. So when that happened, you know, I started working like at Block Entertainment, DTP, Patchwork, Hot Beats. So you work um, with some some of the best places you would say in in, in Atlanta to work at studio wise. I have been in a lot of studios in Atlanta. So they let y'all know the background this man just gave you. He's not just an engineer, he worked for several people, you know what I'm saying? He, and then call him for nothing. And I'm here to tell you, just like I said, why well, go? He, he one of the best engineers around, man. So they most definitely, you know, he let you know. Tell him one more time. We we keep we make sure that you let him know where they can contact you at because somebody gonna be like, what song was that they're playing? And somebody might need some. I mean, we even gonna this. This is a special edition. So before we even get close to ending, we gonna let you. Then any tracks that you might want to play a bar or two off of, to let them hear. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got so much fire over there, you know what I'm saying? So we gon' like I said, it's a special episode. So every, every, I'm telling you, every beat I ever heard him do, a song or whatever, man, was fire. It's, I appreciate it, that. It, it was it, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. You hear that? See, you see Tony Mr. Raw featuring I'll, Bravo I'll Sinatra, and you hear that Tony did. This is Bravo Sinatra, man, and, and also Tony did it. Production, man, one of the uh, best in the business. Man. I, I, I gotta say that, man. I know, you know what I'm saying. Tony did it, and Bravo Sinatra. Yeah, they wanted the same. But see, the thing was about it was it was a whole name. Okay. It was a whole name at one point. Oh, uh, it was Tony Bravo Sinatra. That was my alias. Okay, got so, you, got you. Tony is just more focused on like, <laughs> I say this shit, and I mean this shit. Everybody in this room, everybody across the world are schizophrenic, period. What, what makes you say that? If I put you in a room full of white folks, uh -oh. you're not gonna oh, have the same personality. Lord. If I put you in a room full of old folks, you ain't gonna have the same personality. You right. If I put you in a room full of women, you ain't gonna have the same personality. You right. If I, I put I, you in a room full of these women and some ratchet bitches, you ain't gonna have the same personality. You, you this go. man is just giving y'all, you you correct, bro. Hey, this, I, I hope y'all hear what he said. That's real though. Yeah. That's real. You gonna have a different respect, respect for some. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No respect for some. You know what I mean? It's gonna be different ways that you look at the crowd that you're around. That, that's, that's true. That's right. good. I, I ain't really heard nobody break it down like that. My only thing, I say this, like a schizo just can't control those personalities. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I'm a little schizo anyway. I mean, we all off. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> well, they say, even my mama. Shout out to my mama. My mama <laughs> say I'm extra, man. She said she don't know where I come from. Yeah, your mama know what she talking about, too, bro. <laughs> but anyway, we ain't gonna yeah, yeah. But look, like we said, man, since it's a special edition, man, I mean, let, let, I want to hear something, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me too. Whatever bro. you choose to play, we, we're going to let the people hear something, man, that, you know, they can go find and, and, and contact you, you know. And I'm, I'm loving that shirt, man. Make sure you camera, man. You got that shirt? Show that shirt, man. Make sure we get that shirt so we can show, you know. Yeah, man. Um, Y'all see the shirt. Weapons and TV people, AM Podcast. Natural. Momentum Mariah. We on all platforms. No turning back, also on all platforms. Uh, TDP Volume 1, also on all platforms. 
those three projects is specifically you hear me the majority of the time. Okay, okay. So all those are online or available on all streaming platforms. Oh. Okay, let's, let's go. Give us, give us a few seconds or something, man. You will be on Friday. Man. You heard it here, man. On the okay. AM podcast, man. With so. Mr. Ron Sugar Bad, Tony Diddy Productions, man. Live. You know, we in the building, man. It's we're what he building. do, man. We're in the building. It's, it's different. We told y'all it's gonna be a little different, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen to this right here too, man. This we're man working, good, man. Tell you this, man. Work it, y'all. So, AM podcast, man. AM podcast. Oh. So you produce what you playing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just too good at this. I make them look basic, and you can see it clearly. Shout out Kofi Cook. Yeah, this is me rapping. I let the music and the music they can face. No chance to get it. I make them look crazy. And you can see grace that you don't need lace. I can do this any day. I need to stop playing. I'ma let the music and the music they can face. Bravo God sent. Yeah. It's like my words are scripted biblical. My truth be blind as hell. Like every line I say is cynical. I'm nasty with this shit. I'm so sick that I'm clinical. Got an arm and everything like a nigga got pinnacle. Certified with this hip. Just put me on the scale way. I'm running like a greyhound. Can't follow me on trailways. I've been laid to groundwork on track like the railways. Call me Mr. Perfect. Ain't no need for a fail safe. Even when I'm finished, you can't tell me when I'm done. You know it's more with bell up like champagne gun. I'm in the Chevy like a Rolls Royce. Pass a great fun. Bad bitches steady crushing on me like I was the fun. To realistic like the proof of forensics. Another hoe gon' let me score. Add it to the statistics. I keep a fire on with me like I study ballistic. My confidence. I'm guessing I'm egotistic. I'm just too good at this. I make them look crazy. That's just one of millions of checks. I can tell y'all, man. The man is loaded up, you know, with that. That's nothing. So, th- is that available on AFI? I mean, nah, it's it so actually it? unreleased. That's literally. Uh, I said it, on, it is available on the AM podcast. Yeah. Now it's it. available yeah, on the yeah, AM yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. So, this is exclusive. Like, it's. That was an exclusive. Okay, okay. Track. Made in December of 21. Oh, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Now, this was made in December of 21, so that's just, that's not even as far back as it goes. They let you know the catalog is, is very deep, you know. Yeah. And speaking of songs that go back, you know, so far like that, are you going to, when, when are you going to release this for this to be over? Because, you know, y'all don't know, but my little brother's always getting on to me about having beats from the past, you know, and, and releasing them in the in the future, should we say, you know. So what, what makes you be holding on to a song so long, brother? You know. Well, first and foremost, I get on you because I don't want you to make the mistakes that I make. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he preaching to me now. You see what I'm saying? See how he turned that on me, y'all? That's what double brothers do, though. I am that's... a hoarder of music. So I, you I are. don't want him to be like me, where I'm sitting on something that's three, four years old. And... But I also say this too when it comes to great music. Great music is timeless, so it really doesn't matter. But I know the potential that this nigga has, and sometimes he he just procrastinates. Yeah, I I appreciate that, brother. And I know you know since you work, brother, good man. I'm tell you, hey, when I tell you the man is good at everything he do, you see how he flipped that around on me. You know what I'm saying? But that's cool, though, man, because he does have music that's out on all streaming platforms. Y'all need to make sure you go check him out. Like I said, if you're around this area, period, man, you need to make sure you look into the TDP production, man. It's going down, man. It's Tony did the production. What, what, you, what you got? You been out in the quiet this round. No, I'm just listening, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got stories. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got yeah, no stories see, with y'all. We, we, the same way they learn it, you, you learn Now you got a story with I'm them. sitting back and I'm like, the AM man. podcast is right right here, yeah, right now. Tupelo. Tupelo. I'm from Tupelo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. This, this is my family, Big Sugar Bag. You know, you see, what y'all don't know about Tupelo and Columbus is that uh, Columbus ain't got no malls. Ain't got nowhere to really well, shop. What was the name of the mall they had? Lee Mall. Lee Mall. Lee Mall, man. You be spit across that mall, brother. I, I ain't been down in, in a minute. I mean, I, I go in and I out. I got brothers down there. Shout out J. Ron. Shout out my brother B. Note. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I can throw a rock and that motherfucker lead them all. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I you mean, it's, it's, a, it's a small So we used to travel to Tupelo to go shop and stuff like that because Tupelo used to have all, like, you know, 
Drop the date stuff. Like, How long has it been since you've been there? What? Tuscaloosa, uh, Alabama, Roll Tide. You know what I mean? That, that's, that, I'm still a state boy. Yeah, oh, Roll Tide, okay. Hell State, yeah. what I was just saying. You know, Hell, Hell state, state. state, Mississippi State, baby. You yeah. know, we don't win. Shout like, out to all college. <laughs> we don't win like the Tide. So when the Tide get in the championship, pro SEC. So it's Roll Tide then. But until then, it's Hell State. I'm not a sports guy. You know. Yeah. So it's here AM podcast <laughs> right now. You know what I'm talking about. He don't yeah. worry about no sports, yeah. man. Yeah. He, he behind on everything. Yeah, yeah but you um, sports man, you, you you doing a lot of scoring on, on this music, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I this wanna, is what I do. All right, all right. That's just my life. You know what I mean? I eat, sleep, shit, piss, music. That's what I do. And I know that because I, I live with you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like when I tell you this man, you know he. And for those who don't know, I, we ain't mentioned this yet, man. This is, we've we been slipping on I've been so happy to have this guest, you know what I'm saying? We didn't tell them to hit the like, subscribe, comment, none of that. <laughs> That's just how we were zoned out when the show first started because good music do that too, you know what I'm saying? But you just heard me say it, so hit that like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you choose to do. But what I was about to say was, you know, I, I tell everybody, volume three, you know what I'm saying? On the volume three, you produce, what, uh, 80, over 80 some percent of it thing? I mean... That's what Shout out to Classic. Shout out to see it. You know what I'm saying? That's what my, my brother, brother one told me. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all something special real fast. How much one mean to me? One is like my assistant, the manager. Man, big one, brother. one special. And too, I'm older man. than him. That's the crazy shit about it. But he like big brother. Like, um, one be doing he little tricks and shit, right? And I love him for it, though. Cause I, man, before I knew it, I did 80% of the green giant because of one. <laughs> okay, okay, but uh, I love this man too. I like, really sure love this man too, and, and, and you can't put words together how much I care. You know what I mean? So, but it's a pleasure and it's an honor to do the Green Giant. You know what I mean? I remember he came to me one day and he was like, "Uh, hey, bro, you think you can um sample the actual Green Giant?" Uh, yeah. And I was like, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> But I nailed it. I pulled it out, and what that was on? It, that's on the that's on the volume three. That's okay, the intro. Okay. Y'all don't know the intro. You know what I'm saying? When you hear that Green Giant sound, you know who did it, man. Tony, did, Tony did it, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you gonna be like, who did that? Tony did it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, much love, man. I mean, but that, that's what you do, man. You you kept me up nice, and you you forced me to in a good way. You know what I mean? Like you worked me. One thing I can say about me being in, in in Atlanta, man, in Georgia, since when I came here, man, you and one, y'all, y'all worked. Now you, I, you worked me, but that that one, Rogelio, that guy there, man. Hey, shout out to one Rogelio again, man. That, that guy there worked me, man. Hey, I, and I, where you go, they working. They, you. That guy there worked me. The man. City working, he worked. But there's love, there's, there's love for my brother. You know what I mean? I'm it's working. Right. It's a work ethic, man. And, and I honestly can say that me and one have a different type of work ethic. Um, but together, I have to tip my head off to one, though, because one, you know what I mean, does a lot just to me, and along for me, just like he's done for you. Yeah, you know I mean? so, most definitely. But most the definitely. dedication that he takes to his craft is, is one second to nine, because I'd be like, bro, when did you even have time to? Record this song, man. <laughs> it's out the hat, man. See the difference between me and one. One, I don't have a life. You know what I mean? My life is nothing but music. Yeah, I, one I, I has a too. life. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you be like, "Yeah, I'm dropping off three, four tracks." Bro. Like, when <laughs> did you do it? Like, <laughs> that's how I be, bro. I I'm in here. I'm in here all day, and you know, like this nigga used to get off work and and he would come in. And I'd be sitting right there at my desk, like, like, working on something. And matter of fact, all night long. That was a great time too, cause yeah, uh, the kids had to get on the bus around by six thirty, and that's when me and this nigga call it a night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was supposed to be a night time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As soon as you put the kids on the bus, we're like, okay, bro, we do what, and we worked all night, man. That's that's for anybody out there. If, if this is what you do, man, this your passion, this what you love, man. That's yeah. that's what you're gonna do. You gonna work. You gonna put in that work. You know what I mean. And, and even that's why I thank you so much in one because when I was didn't have nowhere to go record y'all. You know same thing I told them on the last episode with uh Rogelio. You know what I mean. Like y'all invited me. You invited me into your home literally. You know what I mean. And y'all kept me motivated. Music in my life too. That's what I love. 
without my music, I feel like I'm, I'm nobody. You know what I'm saying? So y'all help me keep my passion going. You know what I mean? I, I, mean, I love y'all for that. You know what I mean? Y'all always be special to me, bro. And it's, it's more than a blessing to have both of you guys. You and Juan Rogelio, you know what I'm saying, on the show, man. And I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? Like, that's from the heart. And if you got somebody who look out on you like that, you're supposed to do the same thing, man. Turning your back is something you don't do on good people, man. Oh, Certified man. movies, you know what I mean? For real, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, man, you got me, you know. Oh. This, this show is... <laughs> yeah, there he go, you know what I mean? We knew he was going... Because he's my brother, man. People don't understand. You know, we talk about friendship. We have different topics, you know what I mean? But when you got somebody, man, who... You know, when I say brother, I don't call everybody my brother. When I say my brother, like, that, that means something. I'm... Mm -hmm. I'm to the end, I'm there for you. Whatever I can do for you, whenever I, you know what I mean? Like I said, this man opened his doors up for me. A lot of people didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? This man opened his doors up for me, and he, he didn't know me like that, like that at the time. And that was all off strength of Juan Rogelio, you know what I mean? So he's a good guy. Man, nigga. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, because we, we cut your cousins, you yeah, know what exactly. I'm saying? We cut your cousins. I don't care what nobody this, say. This is a good guy, man. No disrespect to the rest of the world. But when you from the South, you cut from a whole different cloth. Most and yeah. now when I say the South, I'm not talking about like Atlanta, Miami, New Orleans, the big city. You know what I mean? I'm not talking like that. The when country. you from the country, it's a whole different code. It's a whole different respect level and a whole different, it's different principles. We don't just seem the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that love is genuine. And That's why we rep for the sip so hard. You know what I'm saying? They don't... They don't understand it. Like we say, we, we rep for the South as a whole, but from where we're from, you gotta, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta rep a little harder, yeah. man, because we don't got no See, kind of light on us. You know what I mean? And I know you in New York got both Davis and stuff like that, so they kind of, you understand, like, man, I used to go to the corner store and get a dollar worth of goddamn bologna. You know what I mean? A 50 cent worth of cheese. You know what I'm saying? Uh, South meat. Nah, they South meat. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Uh, you remember uh, Jungle Juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I remember the joke you with the line on that joke. Yeah. Uh, Shake them just up real good, you know what I'm saying? Before you die. The throwback day, you hey, know what I'm saying? They, it came they, in that carton. hard, actually, man. Yeah, it came, in that, came in that carton, boy. And by the time you get done, it was red. Yeah, it man. <laughs> I'm talking all at the bottom. Yeah. Out. Yeah, man. That was the day, man. This, yeah. You know. Good memories, man. You know what I'm saying? And I hope y'all enjoying the podcast, too, man. The AM podcast, man. Hit that like button. Where does it need to go? Subscribe button. What else I need to do? Share. Cause I know you one ain't more, said it. Yeah, one more. Comment. Yeah, I, I, I be remembering, but he, you know what I'm saying? See, you take a guess for us to tell this young man right here. But Sugar, man, where your mind be at sometimes, man? At the AM podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you be at the AM podcast, but where your mind be at? At the AM know? podcast. And y'all, why, why we call it the AM podcast? It is. It's about what? Because we the AM podcast. <laughs> This guy got jokes, you know what I'm saying? But look, man, you want to talk to me? You want to talk to TDB? Anything you want to ask the artist, man? The artist, the engineer, the I mean, I'm I'm tagging along, man. You know what I'm saying? But we need, you know, what what you want to see? Because I pretty much know about, you know, I know a lot of people wondering why I'm doing a lot of talking, but I know him, so it's personal as well, brother man. I respect art. This man is putting down art, so I listen to it. I vibe with it and everything else. It don't even. So there's no question. I, I mean, I'm just making sure. I like sure. it, man. I, like I don't want to be careful because I'm, you be like, yeah, hey, man, you ain't let me say nothing, man. You just I ain't seen, no, I ain't seen my brother in a minute, so I, I'm, I'm thankful I'm to have him on the show. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I respect art, man. I just vibe with you, man. You know what I am, man. Music, music is an art. What he doing, man? Okay, we we gonna get back to you, uh, TDP. You and know, I got different. Is it anything else? I mean, like you want to name some of your other projects? You got anything coming soon? I know you named a few that's already online. Like what else you got? You know what I'm saying? You got something coming? Well, of course we got the um, Volume Three Green Giant coming. Um, no, Juan Rogelio got yes. another project on the pipeline. Um, I have. Uh, Another project coming as well. I got a joint project with uh, Microphone Mike, 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 aka. Shout out Mike, Mike. Um, uh, M365 got a new album that's about to drop. Of course, I produce 100% of that. Okay, shout out um, M365. Dope. Dope by Nature has a new project coming as well. Um, okay, shout out Dope by Nature. Shout out everybody who deal with bro, you know, because I already know, man. I mean, I, deal with it, it, it's it, hard you know. to like just pinpoint, you know, 
Um, but it's just a lot. Uh, St. Eyes, uh, Kinstonian's out right now. Uh, he's about to drop a volume two to that. Shout well. out to him. You know what um, I mean? Hope y'all watching the AM podcast. We shouting y'all out. You know, if you're dealing with TDP Productions, it's nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? That was this change. Mm-hmm. Right, that's bottom line. That's same oh, eyes man. right now. Okay, bottom line. TDP. For those who don't know, I mean, I'll, I'm grandma. Hopefully they put it together. Shout out, Granny. Now, that's, yeah. that's what you call it. That's, that's the blessing way. I have yeah. to, uh, yeah, we talking about shout out and roses and stuff. Yeah, um, get, get, man. Shout out to you. This this you, man. Whatever you want to, you know, whoever you want to send a shout out yeah, to, man. change you know. like that, man. Yeah, I like that grandma. I need that yeah, grandma. Yeah, grandma. I roll her right here. Um, that project is out as well. That's, oh, that's man, one that's Royal, Royal Helio. Yeah, yeah, like I said, this is the bottom one all over. One Royal Helio is all over the line. The chains is uh, one started this shit. <laughs> yeah, he I got mean, me one. Yeah. Shout, shout out to my little bro, Juan Borrelio, too. He got me an executive chain. You know right. what I'm saying? He bought, you know, I just ain't really into the gym, but I, I, I knew what I'm saying. I first got exactly it, you know what, what I'm saying, saying right yeah. there. Like, shout I, out I ain't got a watch on today, man. but I ain't got one on today. But the watches, the chain, that, that's all my brother doing right there. Yeah, yeah and one, I ain't going to flex. One's okay. something special, too, ain't it, man? He, one of them kind yeah, of. Yeah, man, real, yeah. real, man. Now I can't take chains off because this boy to put chains on me and shit. <laughs> you may want to wear mine. You got to get, I wore a couple times last time. Just oh, like yeah, he got me on. Uh, he got me the logo, too. I got two of those as well. And, Speaking um, of the logo, what, what, let them know what TDP stands for. I don't know if they can uh, pretty much say. What TDP stands for? TDP stands for Tony Did the Productions. Um, Who did? Tony. Who did it? Tony. <laughs> Y'all heard it. Tony did it, man. Y'all, yeah. they just don't know when they hear this, man. I'm one of them. Hey, Tony did it. Man, man, when you hear it, then he got so many, you know. It's five behind. He got so many ways to come in, or you never know, yeah. man. That, that boy, it's, it's a call man. True everyone. Who did? True Gabriel Trump. Yeah, I think That's I heard true. a uh, on one of mine. She yeah. at the end of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Miss Too True, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, she go hard, too. I probably got about go 50 tags, man. And it's a beautiful thing because I did not make not one myself. Yeah, just I'm gonna have to do one. You see, he got that many tags and he ain't put his brother on one yet. You see what I'm saying? I get I'm, I'm, why? Can I get one one day? Why? I want to get one one day, man. I just want to say Tony did it. You I would know love what I'm saying? Say Tony did it. Because you did it a lot for me, so why I can't say Tony did it? I, I want to let people know you did a lot for me. Uh, you you can't give me the studio. Uh, this is the last album, though, bro. I'm, you know, this. He told me this is the last album. I don't know why he's saying that shit. Yeah. He really Y'all think, see how they he do He really right? think he just gonna it's just brotherly walk love off into this AM podcast. Man. You know what I'm saying? This brotherly love. Sure, man. when you gonna get on the track? I'm already on it. Oh, get it. Get it. Volume 99. <laughs> 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 hey. Sure, be yeah, hey, he get in there like it's a natural though, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Sure too, man. Shout out Big Sugar Bad, man. You know what I'm saying? If they see your name on the air, they're gonna know you, you did the intro, man. You know what I'm saying? You an OG, man, so when they hear you speak, they need to know this, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm a high guy here, man. Man. Nice, man. This guy, this be my best friend in my security since I was. Uh, and your what? Your security? <laughs> security, I ain't never your security. <laughs> you talking about? He might well be. Yeah, I'm just I'm real security too. No, you my mom, my brother, secure. You know, we secure each other. We family. We keep each other today. And there's a thing secure. That's why we secure each other. Secure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were out. And we don't use that word lightly. We're T. Yeah, yeah for different. real. Yeah. Anybody can be for that, That's something, you know, you, that's a word you can't, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, family means family, like how we family here. Like, this is supposed to be an interview. It's an interview, but it's still so. You know, like we ain't seen each other while this how family talk. So, you know, this is this is what we do when we together anyway, you know what I'm saying? Actually I'm being nice. Y'all already don't know. I be fucking with this nigga all the time. I be like, literally that poking at him like Everybody do. You <laughs> city. Shout out my little brother, young city, man. You city, yeah. bro. Hell yo. Straight little brother. This fool right here, here, man. I swear, little brother. You know what you talking about? Me. Matter of fact, I like City too, bro. Y'all little brothers just be on me, man. But you know what, man? I love y'all to death, bro. But that's what you call, that's, what, that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know you got real friends and family. That's why you separate. Because, like, when we talk, I listen. Everybody can't tell me nothing. Everybody don't understand like, me and know me. You know what I mean? Loyalty makes you family. Yeah, loyalty. Everybody ain't loyal. You know what I'm saying? 
Everybody ain't loyal. That's just another I mean, topic. I, I, I don't that though, man. Anything mm-hmm. else you want to ask me? I mean, you know, I, I pretty much, as long as, the, as long as the people know, because I know everything I need to know about it. Is it everything, anything else you want to let them know? I am the shit. Mm. Here's the shit. So y'all heard it. You heard it here at the AM podcast. We smell it. Hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, like, I am the number one, number one, goddammit. I am the shit. I am, okay. I am the pinnacle that you wish you could reach, goddamn. I am on a whole different echelon, motherfucker. You understand me? Talk to him, bro. Damn, I am the best of all the best. You feel me? It's nothing better than me. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's what you call, is that com- that's confidence. That is arrogance, goddamn. Arrogance. I am it not is shit to get some motherfucker. You understand it is me? It is fine. <laughs> Upper <laughs> echelon, you know what I'm saying? Be arrogant, my yeah, friend. Yeah, that's how you supposed to be. I'm going to rock with it. Goddamn. When you this good, you can't help but to be fucking arrogant. Yeah. So now y'all know, you heard how arrogant he is, so that means y'all need to go check out my brother, man. Available on all streaming platforms. One more time, what they need to type in and find you. At Bravo Sinatra, man. At Bravo Sinatra, man. That's B-R-A-V-O-S-I-N-A-T-R-A. Bravo Sinatra, man. Uh, y'all be sure to go check my little brother and out, And let me correct this nigga is what he tell me. Uh, that nigga said the best uh, engineer in this area. No, nigga, I am the best engineer on the east side of the Mississippi. You understand Okay, me? okay. Excuse Pardon me. Pardon me. You know what I'm saying? And if I go to the west side of the Mississippi, I'll be the best engineer then. Goddamn. Okay, well, let him know then, man. Let him know. Y'all got, I love the arrogance, man. That's, that's what you got to do. Make the dunk sound like a geese, motherfucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I love it, man. That, hey, but that's what that's what people need. Good engineer, you know what I'm saying? Talk, man. Nah, man. talk your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about you, bro. For real, but yeah, man. I'm serious, too, man. We enjoyed you. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you Show having me. us Show. in TDP Production, and we appreciate you being a part of the AM podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sure. That's I like your shirt too. Man. I'm gonna have to give me one. We're gonna have to get you one of these, man. We'll have some yeah, more man, real sure. soon. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a large. Make sure yours are lower? Yeah. I ain't, I'm not in 2000 no more. <laughs> what, what, so you want to, the muscle to show? What it is. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to get a medium or something? Somebody yeah. Know I'm yeah. Show I yeah. Yeah. Uh, about a 10. Hey, man, look here, man. Talk, I'm, talk, I'm talking to my little brother right you now. You probably man. need a 10T. You're show hey, look, muscle. man. It's almost 5 a.m., man. So, you know, where we are, you know what I'm saying? Man, look, I want to say... What time is it? Is it 316? Well, hell, that's almost fine to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, hey, man, look here, man. Hey, look. Man, we appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate you. This nigga in California time. You know what I mean? Well, you in two hours. It would be New York somewhere when the five o'clock. You you said, why I can't never end this the way I want to end? Oh, you got my brother? Look, y'all say how my brothers mess with me, man. I quit, man. You know what? I quit. I quit, man. Sugar Bell, you can have this, man. Nah, I just wish I can't leave, man. I can't leave. You know, some people might like looking at me, you know. You never know, man. You waste a lot of energy for nothing, you know that? You know what? Yeah, you sound like Sid to my ear. Why the hell you got on a 49 hat? Hey, I am not a sports guy, man. <laughs> I am not. You might see me with 49ers on. You him. might see me with a cowboy hat on. But look, you know what? I'm wearing this 49 you know what I'm saying, since we had. Let me make sure I say it for him. Shout out to my brother, Prentice, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my brother, Courtney, you know what I'm saying? Them, my, my blood brothers, they... Mm-hmm. They both fans, so I'll I be thinking about them. I don't get to see them. You know what, so, you know, Rich. I got this. They from home. Yeah, they from, well, my, uh, one of my brother, my brother Courtney from uh, Memphis. He live in Nashville now. And my brother Prince, of course, he from Tupelo, but he live in uh, Missouri now. He got a reason. No, the other ones don't. We from Mississippi. We ain't got no pro team. I'm so, not a sports guy. <laughs> I know that. I'm just saying the gym. I'm not a sports guy. Being that we're from Mississippi, we won't have pro teams, so we pretty much a wild card. We can pretty much pick anybody we want to be our favorite team. I try to go to anybody close to home, yeah. like so Nashville, the Titans, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I'm, you know, if I'm going to root for somebody, I root, but I really don't care who we win lose because I'm not a sports guy. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> you a Cowboys oh, fan? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I know a lot of people gonna be talking shit to me just because you said it, yeah, you know, because yeah, I, sure. I know, you know. My daddy from Pensacola, Florida, Emma Schmidt, because that's where he's from. I actually went to the same high school as Emma Schmidt. Oh, okay. You sitting in the same desk with him? Is he sitting in? Hey, man, I don't know. Same classroom? Could have been. We need to go back and explore I played for it, the same school. Because you talented like he is, so you might, you know, he might have left some of that, 
You might have rubbed something off in the classroom when you was there. walk into the school, got there, there's a big old fucking poster in the smell. I went to school with that, too. No, you didn't. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> he registered there. I went to, I registered there, but they wouldn't let me in. Oh, yeah. Lord, he ain't going to. Hey, man, why you got. Hey, look, man. But yeah, when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying, playing football and stuff like that, and, and my dad, you know what I'm saying, being from Pensacola, knowing his father and stuff like that, so. Your background all over. Of course, once you, you see these three, you know what I'm saying, this is Emmett Schmidt, star, Dallas Cowboy, I'm from Mississippi, so. So I'm from Mississippi. You better know it. Yeah, but man, we gotta rip our home all the way, man. But shout out to where we at, you know what I'm saying? GA, sure, man. My man. second home all day, man. And I know that you guys second home because y'all you been one where Helio as well been here for a long time. You yeah, actually saying? I met um one high school, actually one was the first person I spoke to in my neighborhood. And uh <laughs> we were walking home from fucking school and I said that <laughs> I'm the new kid in the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm the I remember you telling me. Like, hey, uh, play video games? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look how, how long ago was it? Man, 15, 16 years old. So. That's what, I think me and Juan might have spoke on that too when, when we uh, had a little interview with him, man. Like, yeah. that's good when you find friends so long, brother, still solid with each other and running, we, you don't find it. You know what I mean? Then we all share the same passion for music and love. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, man. Special. You know what I'm saying? Man, I done seen his growth and seen my growth. You know and y'all seen my growth. Yeah, you ain't grew yet, though. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, they do. They would not let me back. Yeah, I love my brothers, man, but they do me so wrong. Hey, man. That was an alley. You know what you said? I ain't going to be on the next show. <laughs> what you say? Yeah, I seen you eat, but I ain't seen you grow. <laughs> That's how you feel? Yeah, where your fools are? Pioneer going to kill you. We ain't going to tell the world why Pioneer going to kill us. Shout out to Pioneer. Yeah, yeah, we ain't going to kill him, man. But yeah, man, once again, man, it's, it's good being here. It's good man, having you, man. Definitely, bro. I love y'all. I want the world to know I love you. It's deeper than music, you know what I mean? Of course, man. Love y'all. Appreciate you. And this nigga get seat. like the hardest fucking hugs in the world, man. I swear, for God, bro, you be about to break your motherfucking back every time I <laughs> hug you, man. Man, shout out to my sister Hope, man. My sister Hope back home, man, and, and my brother still there. They two of the ones that I always tell. They, that love. When I hug, I put love in my hug. I gave him a hug side hug, hug on the road, You hear me? I gave him a side hug. My shoulders were about to touch. That nigga was really He's number bone. You finna nigga whole skeleton. You know what? Well, I know we finna end the show now, man. Hey, look here, man. We appreciate y'all no matter where you are, mm -hmm. no matter what you're doing, man. Thank y'all for taking yeah, time man. to watch the AM podcast, man. And hopefully, I might be on the next episode. It depends, man. They're going to run me out, man, the way they do me, man. <laughs> But look, man, we love y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And we got this thing. Hey, man.